hello everyone this is your girl camille i want to say welcome back to my channel i'm working on a 20 by 20 inch canvas and i'm using some beautiful colors different shades of red the first red in the cup was a bright red followed by deep red and then i added some scarlet red beautiful color combination i just wanted to do a dirty pour using those three colors and i wanted the color is not to blend too much in this um, painting technique that I'm doing I just wanted to get you know the colors to stand out on their own didn't want them to mix too much that's one of the reason why I separate the colors as you watch me doing today's pour all right it's just some um, I just wanted to make it uh, make it a bit different I did not want to get pink I didn't want to get some grays, I just wanted to get my colors to be vibrant and solid. So this was an experiment for me and I want to share with you and you know I do love the way it turns out, the bright red in this is just amazing and of course with the deep red I'm adding some you know depth and some contrast in here and it's just beautiful. Alright so I do hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, you know give this one a thumbs up if you do like it. Do stick around to the end you know you'll see me do show you the close-up of the wet result and of course the dread result you know so you guys don't go away and if you're here this far I want to say this video is a part of our Tuesday night premiere with me and friends do check out my description box below to see who are participating today I do hope you guys you know do check out their videos give them a thumbs up you know subscribe to their channel if you've missed um, if you haven't subscribed as yet and of course guys you know we really do appreciate you coming out every Tuesday night to support us on our premiere train yeah I'm just super excited I was having so much fun doing this and you know the result is just amazing you know and this is one thing I can say about the fluid art you know there's just no one way of painting and there's no one way of creating beautiful art you know uh, there's so many various techniques out there guys but one thing I can tell you about the float art is that it's really all about the colors and we artists use colors to express our emotion and to really captivate the viewer you know so with me right now I'm just playing with the colors and I know that red is really speaking to someone and I know you're loving it because honestly when I was pouring this piece I was loving it so much all right um yeah thank you so much for being here if i haven't said so before and guys if you do enjoy this video do give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed as yet hit that subscribe button hit the bell guys you have to hit the bell you know so that each time whenever i post a new video you are notified thank you guys so much and i will see you for the close-up of the wet result and the dried result so hang around guys i'll see you at the end thank you
Here it is, the close-up of the wet result. I am so happy with the way this one turned out. And you know, I did use the ribbon pour technique to create, you know, that effect right there that I'm loving so much. And I, I was worried with the fact that the paint was dripping, but you know, it does create some beautiful effects. Love it. And I hope you guys saw when I did that um, powder pour pearl cell technique in this painting as well you know creating beautiful cells and i'm loving it love the different um, gradients of red in here love the bright red love that deep red in there i lost a bit of that scarlet red it, i guess it blends in with the deep red but hey it's still beautiful this portion there has the pearl cells the multicolor pearl cells with the red the gold some white love it what do you guys have to say let me know in the comment section below and of course here it is dried and on my fireplace there's no finish on this no resin no varnish as yet but it dried amazing i am loving it i'm loving the 3d effect in here love this color combination the red the black the white the gold beautiful colors guys and i'm happy um you know like i mentioned before i did not want my red to turn pink when mixed with the white and I did not want to get white when mixed with I mean gray when the white mixed with the black so I just wanted to separate the colors keep it clean you guys can play around just have fun with your art this is just me having fun and sharing it with you happy that you guys are here to check this one out give me a feedback let me know what you think about this one and of course give me a thumbs up guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel i do have various techniques to share with you thank you so much do check out the next person who's coming up next on today's premiere train and we will see you next time on camila moy art bye